Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Coach Bill with Fat Loss Made Easy. Hope you guys are having a great, uh, what is today? Today is actually Thursday. No, today is Wednesday. I get, I get confused every so often. Guys, uh, today's topic is about can fructose from uh, fruit knock you out of fat burning? And the, um, the simple answer is yes, it can. Now, some of you guys that have followed me know that I, I'm on different group pages or groups. I'm on type 2 diabetes, uh, intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting for beginners, multiple different groups. And so sometimes I get some, uh, some of my topics from the questions that these people are asking on these groups. And uh, this one here about fruit seems to be a little controversial because uh, we all know that fruit is good for you. Fruit's got some uh, uh, really good, uh, I mean, it's very strong in antioxidant that your body needs for, to sustain uh, good health. But the problem is, <clears throat> is the type of fruits and the amount of fruits that are, people are eating and some fruits have higher fructose than other fruits. And so when you're looking to lose that belly fat or body fat, or if you're looking to reverse type two diabetes or um, a fatty liver disease, which is known as a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you have to understand that fructose is actually a simple sugar. And so what you need to do during that time, now um, I'll be launching my new training website here real soon. It is a uh, training website with different courses and packages in it. Um, I have live videos in it. I've got training books in it. I've got everything you guys need to, um, to reach your goals going through your journey of losing belly fat or body fat. Um, I've even got a uh, course in there for those of you that are looking to reverse type 2 diabetes and possibly get off all the medication you're on. And also fatty liver disease, which is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. So I'm going to be launching that, uh, that website real soon. And um, those of you that might be interested in, in looking at my courses and my packages now, you just got to... Uh, Email me at Bill Mabry, at, I'm sorry, Bill at BillMabryCoaching.com and I can send you the uh, different courses and packages. But in my courses, in my courses, I do talk about um, fructose and how it affects your actual fat burning. Uh, in the courses and packages, um, they, you've got 60 day course, you got a 90 day courses. And so what we recommend to our uh, potential clients or, or there are our clients that are actually purchased a course or a package is that for the first 90 days, you really want to uh, get off all fruit because you're trying to reverse insulin resistance or you're trying to bump start your metabolism and uh, start burning off that. Uh, belly fat and body fat. And if you really don't understand how fructose can actually sabotage your fat loss, then you're better off just eliminating them all um, for the first 90 days. Now, that's only for the first 90 days. Now, what I'm, what I'm doing here is in my courses and in my packages, you guys get training books and training videos. The training videos are taking you through these training books step by step uh, by me. And in one of the training books is a uh, module, training mo modules, and that one there will have the explanation and the video that will explain why I, I pull people off fruit for the first 90 days. And so if you were to Google fructose, 
you probably would see the definition as fruit uh, fructose as being a uh, simple sugar and also you've got fructose from fruit obviously because it's called fructose but you also have fructose in certain veggies also that you got to be careful of and in my training or in my blog post I will list the uh, fruits that are higher in uh, fructose which you might you want to stay away from and uh, vegetables that are higher in fructose that you also will want to stay away from now it's funny because uh, banana is one of the top and most it has the highest fructose in it and it's uh, back in the late 60s uh, when the Vietnam War was going on um, I had friends of mine that would eat bananas multiple I mean just pounds of bananas all day every day to become obese so they wouldn't get drafted and have to go to Vietnam so that just shows you how fructose will affect your insulin which is the hormone known to store fat how it will keep it spiked all the time and how it works the other thing is uh, fructose is metabolized much different than glucose so glucose is coming from your carbohydrates your starchy carbs your potatoes your breads um, your rices and things like that and so um, when you eat those starchy carbohydrates it's converted into glucose and then it is uh, then it, then it is stored in the muscle as glycogen so something you want to remember that you have a lot more muscle mass you have a lot of muscle on your body which means that you could store more glycogen right well fructose is stored in the liver so fructose will go straight to the liver to be stored now the issue is is that you can only store about 30 grams of fructose in the liver whereas because you have more muscle mass you can store more glucose which is converted to glycogen in the muscle so obviously you can eat pastas and breads and things like that and it'll all be stored in your uh, muscles and used as energy later whereas glucose or fructose goes right to the liver to be metabolized and there it's stored to be used as energy level but the problem is is most of you and this is the issue I'm seeing on some of these group sites is people aren't seeing the uh, benefits of doing a high fat low carb meal plan because they're over consuming fruit and they don't understand how fructose is metabolized so if in fact you're eating multiple fruits dip throughout the day or if you're eating them every single day and your liver is only able to handle 30 grams then where is the rest of that fructose going to well it goes the excess fructose is turned into fat remember sim simple sugars are easily turned into fat so it's very easy to uh, overeat fruit and whatever excess fruit you're not using for energy will actually be turned to fat and that's why we tell our clients for the first 90 days um, to uh, to eliminate all fruits until we get them fat adapted and ketone adapted and what that means is we want their bodies to be more efficient burning fat as its primary fuel and not the uh, glucose as its primary fuel now what happens when you become fat adapted well your body then tends to dual fuel which means that you will not only be burning your own stored body fat but you'll also be burning the carbs that you're eating too which is pretty cool but it takes time it doesn't happen overnight but going back to the fructose that's what's sabotaging most people's weight loss progress or slowing it way down 
is because of the fruit. Now, we, we also teach our clients uh, through the training that there's certain, certain vegetables that you might want to stay away from. Now, it doesn't mean you stop eating them. You just got to eat them moderately and uh, limit your amounts. Now, there are some ve uh, vegetables that you can eat a lot of. And um, our clients are taught which vegetables they can consume uh, with no limit. It won't cause your uh, insulin to spike at all. But <clears throat> once you become fat adapted and ketone adapted, once you uh, reach your goal weight or your goal fat inches, percents lost, then you can introduce certain fruits back into your meal plan and most of those will be berries but you still you even though the berries are low glycemic because of the fiber see that's what makes fruit basically low glycemic is the fiber in it it the digestive tract will actually uh, digest it slowly and that's what keeps your insulin in control. But the problem is, right back to overconsumption of fruit on a daily basis. Like you get those, you know, fruit smoothies uh, every single day, or you add fruit to your meals every day, or if you have fruit um, with your uh, breakfast every single day, and you're having certain fruits that are higher in fructose than the others, um, that's where the issue comes in. And so you have to understand um, how important consumption is. Now, what we do is we tell our clients to, when they do introduce fruit, to introduce the berries back into their diet. Uh, you can have a quarter, uh, a quarter uh, cup uh, once or twice a week. We recommend you have them first thing in the morning. <clears throat> That's actually the best time to have them but no later than noon and do not have any fruit after noon uh, to make sure that when your last meal at six that you've already depleted all the fructose out of your liver and uh, you're not going to bed on any fructose so because the object is obviously is to be burning fat uh, between the sheets while you're asleep that's exactly what you want to do so, um, like I said, I'm going to do a, uh, also there's plenty of research out there, scientific case studies that they've studied the effects of overconsumption of fruits and certain fruits that are high in fructose and how it does affect um, the liver. And a couple of those, there's one here, um, it's by the European Heart Journal. Fructose metabolism is a, is a, Cardi uh, cardiovascular risk and the ep epidemic of coronary artery disease because of overeating fruit and how it causes obesity. It also, in the research, causes uh, your bad cholesterol to go up. Now, this report was done, or this case study was done in 2017. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Uh, this one was done in 2014, and it test and it. Uh, this study was a double blind study, and it 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 took fructose, and and uh, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, and the and they wanted to see how this affected a uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and um, the results were it was a major. Uh, indicator that causes actually fatty liver disease. See, all this has something in common with overweight and obesity. There's another study that was done in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and it also, uh, what they did in this study, they wanted to see what fructose, uh, mark, or what fructose did to uh, a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease uh, and how it increased the markers in your liver count, which it did. And then another one was Journal of Heart Association. Um, the effect of fructose uh, and fat and how it actually caused uh, people to actually gain, gain weight. Because remember what I said, that uh, liver metabolizes different than glucose. 
And so, uh, and like, and, and you're only going to be able to hold, I think it's around 30 grams of fructose in your liver and whatever else is in there is going to be um, turned into body fat. Okay, guys? So, guys, be looking forward to, uh, or be looking for my new training website that we're going to be launching here soon. And also, if you'd like, to more, like more information on our packages and courses, you can uh, email me at bill at billmabrycoaching.com. Uh, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel, type in Bill Mabry, and subscribe to it. So, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, be careful, and limit the amount of fruit you're having per week, and keep it to mixed berries. Have a great day.